<laughs> Holy Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to watch episode 9 of House of the Dragon. Uh, I think that uh, Viserys died at the end. And said, my love. And stopped breathing. After Allison seemed to misunderstand whatever he was saying, which he thought he was talking to Rhaenyra. So, we'll see what that even means. She's like, yeah, I understand. It's like, you don't even know anything about any of this, supposedly. I don't think, as far as we know. The dream of ice and fire and all of that. But, so, and then also they had the dinner. Where Viserys kind of like, we're a family. Let's come together. And then left the room and they all went at each other, <laughs> of course. So, doesn't look, it's not looking great. This shit is about to get real, I think. Um, I'm ready to roll. I just die and see what happens. So let's just hit play. Getting vibes. It's kind of reminding me of that episode where Cersei blew up the sept. It started with this trippy slow music. With his own eyes, Grace. Stay here. Tell, tell no one. That Viserys is dead? Or something else? Something worse? I don't feel like... Who knows? They'd be that freaked out about Viserys dying. I have made him tell you. Some of the servants. I saw him last night. Before he... He told me he wished for Egon to be king. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's such bullshit? It is the truth. Uttered with his own lips. No fucking way. His last words to me, and I was the only one to hear it. He did say to her, Rhaenyra, and she was like, it's Alison, I think. Aegon's obviously not the prince that was promised. With his last breath, he impressed upon the queen his final wish oh, that his son, Aegon, should succeed him as Lord of the Seven. No one's gonna buy this shit. To be like, yeah, right. Everyone knows she's one of that. Then we may proceed now with the full assurance of his blessing on our long-laid plans. Yes, there is much to be done. Let ravens be sent to our allies, River Run and Highgarden. Am I to understand that members of the small council have been planning secretly to install my son without me? My queen, there was no need to sully you with darkling schemes. I will not have this. Oh, shit. To hear that you are plotting to replace the king's chosen heir with an imposter. His firstborn son is hardly an imposter. I am six and seventy years old. I have known Viserys longer than any who sit at this table. And I will not believe that he said this on his deathbed alone with only the, the boy's mother as a witness. This is seizure. This is theft. Yeah. It is treason. One man's treason is another man's. Which of you here can swear that he died of his own accord? Which of us are you accusing of regicide, Lord Beast? My oh. mother was one of you. Or all of you. Peaksbury. I care not. I will have no Sit part. Down! They just killed Beesbury? Fucking dickhead just killed him? Oh shit, they're gonna fucking fight me. Throw down your sword. 
and remove your cloak, Sir Kristen. Kristen. I am your Lord Commander, Sir Kristen. Cast down your sword. I will not suffer insults to her grace, the Queen. There was no insult to me, Sir Kristen. You put aside your blade. Oh my god. The loyalist. They just killed Beesbury? I guess so. The door remains shut until we finish our business. <laughs> so Beesbury's just gonna sit there and bleed all over the table. Was it Renera? Yeah. You mean to imprison her? She and her family will be given the opportunity to publicly swear obeisance to the new king. Oh, but good God. She will never bend the knee. Hell no. You plan to kill them. And all here accede to this. A living challenger invites battle and bloodshed. It is unsavory, yes. They got fucking dragons. What do you think they're going to do? Wish for any but the king did not wish for the murder of his daughter. He loved her. I will not have you deny this. And yet. One more word, and I'll have you removed from this chamber and sent to the wall. What do you suggest, Your Grace? Time is of the essence. Lord Commander Westerling, take your knights the Dragonstone. Be quick and be clean. Oh, yeah, right. He's quit. I am Lord Commander of the King's Guard. I recognize no authority but the king's. And until there is one, I have no place here. It is our fate, I think, to crave always what is given to another. If one possesses a thing, the other will take it away. Yes, princess. <coughs> She's wild. Where is Ergon? Not here. He's not in his rooms. Of course not. What's happened? Oh, nothing. She's not gonna tell her, is she? You fall. There is a beast beneath the boards. Oh, my dearest love. Something's gonna happen with her. Her nonsense is gonna. It's gonna turn into some kind of something. I think. <laughs> Where's the prince? Forgive me, Lord Hand. I do not know. I believe he may have left the keep secretly. Gone into the city. Find him. Take no one else but your brother. And remove your white cloaks. None can know who you are or what you seek. Including the queen. My lord. Bring him to me and me alone, Sir Eric. Of this. Oh, she's there. Egon must be found and he must be brought to me. The very fate of the Seven Kingdoms depends on it. Everything you feel for me is your queen. I will not fail you. I'll come with you. That would not be my desire, Aymond. If anything has happened. Cole needs me, mother. So Eric isn't the only one who knows Aegon's doings. So her dad wants them brought to him and she wants them brought to her. I wonder, I guess they're kind of at obviously a little bit at odds, although she's the one that brought it up. And I'll follow. He said time to get it wet. Every woman is an image of the mother to be spoken of with reverence. Mm. Except for Nera. Kristen. You see, the man we seek is the young Prince Agon. I may trust, I hope, in the discretion of your trade. <laughs> the Prince is not here. He does not frequent the street of silk. His tastes are known to be less discriminating. Meaning what? Yeah, what does that mean? I wish you luck, good sir. Less discriminating? You once wore your banners to Rhaenyra, you must now. 
pledge them to the future king. Oh yeah, this is a mess waiting to happen. I must confer first with my house on this matter. You'll not leave this room without declaring your intention. I am no oath breaker. I will not bend the knee. Mm, kill him. Anyone else? House Fell keeps its sworn oath to the princess. Oh, God. We're going to kill her, too. Very well. Just long live the king. Just bend the knee and then get the fuck out of there and do whatever you want. We can't they take oaths quite seriously. But if they did, I mean, you could just say, he was gonna fucking kill me. I'm not really, now that I'm out of there, I'm not really on his side. <clears throat> I don't know. I come from a more rhetorical tradition. Seems you were mistaken as to Ergon's habits. You could be in the hands of mercenaries on a ship to Yeti. He could be dead. Are we going to find out what he's into his, with his less discriminating tastes? Donkey fucking. Down. They have them grow the nails and file the teeth. It makes them more formidable. Prince Egon spends many a night in this place. Do you see now what he is? You've not seen everything. Egon. One of many I'd wager. He's got a bunch of little kids around. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, like him. He's gonna do what I said. Desire the younger brother who studies history and philosophy. Desire who trains with the sword, who rides the largest dragon in the world. Desire who should be king. I'm next in line to the throne. Should they come looking for me, I intend to be found. Something must be done. Aegon is unfit to rule. He tolerated the prince's proclivities for years. Because it was my sworn duty, Eric, is for the hand to find wisdom. We swore an oath of service until death. I can take you to Prince Aegon. Who? Rather, I'm sent by one who knows where he is. I shall trust this to the hand of the king only. Impossible. I think he will wish to hear what the White Worm can tell him. The White Worm. Holy shit, this episode's a trip already. Is he just waiting? Yeah. He's just waiting to get the fuck out. I have no love for the princess. Where were you going then with such urgency? Come on, you had time to think of a story? Let the king's justice take him. Let go of me! No! You did well. And in my duty, my lord hand. You've spent many hours with the Queen of Lich. There's no reason those hours could not in the end benefit you. Yeah, I knew he was duplicitous. I said that last time. Can't trust him. What, no eye stones? Well, she cared. You know, why are they keeping her locked up? I will do you the considerable courtesy of assuming there is a good reason for the outrage of my treatment here this morning. My sincerest regrets for the lack of ceremony. The king. And you are usurping the throne. It was my husband's dying wish. <gasps> Believe it or no, it is of no consequence. Egon will be king. I came here to ask your support. Well, I must credit you for your boldness. 
I loved my husband, but I will speak the truth we both know. You should have been queen. It's in the name of peace that you've imprisoned me. And what of my dragon? If we are overmatched, Rene will be tempted to strike us, and war will ensue. Without your dragon, she may be persuaded to negotiate. You are wiser than I believed you to be. You desire not to be free, but to make a window in the wall of your prison. Have you never imagined yourself on the Iron Throne? Oh, yeah. That's a good move. Put the ambition in her. Ring the bell when you have an answer. I mean, does she have a fucking choice? You're locked. You're locked up, and if you answer one way, we'll kill you. Or something. If you answer the other way, you can have all this drift mark, and... You yourself are the mysterious white worm, I take it. My condolence is on the passing of your king. Where's the prince? He is safely tucked away. I want an end to the savage use of children in Flea Bottom. They are forced to fight and worse. You gold cloaks take the bribes given them to look away. An obscenity. I look into it. You have my word. I could have killed him as easily as a wasp on fruit. There is no power but what the people allow you to take. I will remember. He's gonna try to kill her or something. I can't imagine he would put up with that. But she might be more badass than he knows. What is he doing? Where is the white worm? She sold you for a price. And why have you paid it? I want my mother. Is he a drug addict? I do regret this, friend. I was hoping you disappeared. Is our father truly dead? Yes. And they're going to make you king. I have no wish to rule, no taste for duty, I'm not suited. And get no argument from me. I will find a ship and sail away, never to be found. Eamon would love that. Eamon should be king. Well, I'm still in Vernira's camp over these fucking crazy fucks. Well played. None of this is a game. It is the good of the family that we both desire. Mm -hmm. Whatever our differences, our hearts remain as one. Oh, our hearts were never one. I see that now. Rather, I've been at peace that you moved about the board. If that is true, then I made you queen of the seven kingdoms. I wanted whatever you impressed upon me to want. No king has ever lived that hasn't had to forfeit the lives of a few to protect the many, though I understand your squeamishness. Reluctance to murder? is not a weakness. Yeah. I have egg on. We'll proceed now as I see fit. We will send terms to Rhaenyra on Dragonstone. True terms, such that she may accept without shame. My husband would have desired this mercy be shown to his daughter. Your husband? Or you, his daughter's childhood companion? Kristen Cole will be named Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Great. My son will be anointed tomorrow at dawn. The whole of King's Landing must witness his ascent. Let the people remember the ancient strength of House Targaryen. You look so much like your mother in certain lights. Oh, fuck off, Otto. Yeah, I'm with her. I mean, he's basically getting what he wants. What did he want? To kill Rhaenyra right away. Your Grace. <laughs> the 
hours late, Lord Laris. I found out something you should know. Oh my god. <laughs> she looks like Jesus Christ, I don't want to hear it. Oh, is that what his problem is? He's got a club foot. There is a web of spies at work in the Red Keep. Your father knows this, but has left it in place. More than once it has proved advantageous to those willing to feed the weaver. And this weaver watches me? Oh, you got a foot fetish? <laughs> One of the little spiders is your lady in waiting. Talia. There are more like her. There is one way to destroy his advantage. I assume this task falls within your expertise. If you wish it. What the hell's he doing? So he's got a little foot fetish and she knows it and she feeds him by showing off her feet every once in a while, letting him jack off to it. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the first time we've seen this. I mean, it fits. It's really funny. <laughs> Fucking David Bowie over there. I guess we won't really get to Rhaenyra's reaction until the next episode. With me, princess. I can not let this treachery stand. Is he really gonna help her? Shit. Who's that? Oh, that's that guy. God, they just fucking hang him there. Where are we? Just south of Kingsway. The Blackwater's this way. Wow. This is so good. I won't leave my lees. If I could get to the dragon pit, then... No. They'll expect you there, princess. You must make for the riverfront and find a ship. Before they know you've gone. Her fucking dragon. She's got to leave her dragon. This way. This is not gonna work. I like her. What are they doing to them? Are they gonna slaughter them? She's gonna get caught up in a some slaughter that Otto ordered. In an hour, you will be king. And my father never wanted this. That's not true. He changed his mind. Wow. He could have, but he never did. Because he didn't like me. And yet, with his final breath, he whispered to me that you should take his place for the throne. I guess this is clever, because she would maybe, with her... whatever relationship with Rhaenyra and it, desire for duty and all that shit, she might have not done this if... She had misunderstood what he said. Your grandfather, the Hand, will try to impress on you that Rhaenyra should be put to the sword. You must reject this council. Do you love me? Uh, no, you but... <laughs> you imbecile. I mean, they were gonna kill her. So whatever happens to her now... I mean... They might have killed her. What is she smiling at?
Oh, is that where the dragons are? So they're being herded to where the dragons are? Isn't that the dragon pit place? I mean, that would explain why she would smile. Today is the saddest of days. Our beloved king, Viserys the Peaceful, is dead, but it is also the most joyous of days. He whispered his final wish that his firstborn son, Aegon, should succeed him. The people kind of know this is bullshit too. Guess they don't really care. Give him courage. May the crone lift her shining lamp and light his way to wisdom. Why does he get to crown him? Crown of the Conqueror, passed down through generations. Original Aegon's crown? Let the seven bear witness. Aegon Targaryen is the true heir to the Iron Throne. Uh, yeah. All hail his grace! Aegon! Second of his name! First of... you know how it goes. Fill in the damn titles. <laughs> Maybe he'll get a taste for it now. He'll be like, okay, I like this. Like, and she's like, oh shit. Just do this. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Drakkar is all of them. <laughs> that was unreal. God, man, the visuals on that were just a trip. I'm just astounded by the by the sort of quiet drama that kind of continues in this. Like how you just keep expecting. I mean, what we just saw was not exactly quiet drama, but. But in a way, it is. Like, I i don't know what I thought when this show started. Kind of thought, you know, oh, it'd be a bunch of dragon battles and a bunch of... But this, like, just slow-paced, kind of heavy, deep drama that's so engaging. This next episode's going to be intense. You know, there's not much to say. All their characters are just kind of fully actualized at this point, I would say. 
It'd be, it'll be cool. I really want to see now what happens with Rhaenyra. But it, it was cool to... I mean, I wanted to see what was going on with her, but it was good that they just focused on this whole episode on King's Landing. This white worm thing. I'm super curious about what... That's gotta have more to the story before this is over, I think. Before this season's over. And there was, in the last episode, I guess that might be what um, Laris was talking about. Because in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, there was this weird scene where some woman went to some other woman, and I haven't even got there with the editing yet, so I haven't been able to see it too close, but... I remember being kind of bewildered, like, what's going on in the castle? And so I feel like that might be what Laris is talking about. Oh, and then Laris has weird little foot thing. And how Allison just kind of <laughs> allows him. That was something else, too. It's like, yeah, okay, I can get information from him. All I gotta do is show off my naked feet to him once in a while. I'm almost a little surprised that Allison would have would do that, but we don't really know how it evolved to to that point. She might have just somehow slowly over the years figured that out about him. Um Yeah, the network of spies and then what does she do? Did she tell Laris to go ahead and kill Talia? Her main handmaiden. This is just great. All right. I don't know. Let's, uh... Even though, I guess the big difference between Otto and Allison is that Allison doesn't want to just kill Rhaenyra. But this is going to be some shit. I, I'm just going to have to watch it right now. All right, well, let me just end this and start a new one. Cool. See you in in a few minutes.